there is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. Yo, another episode of Freddy's Nightmares. Don't know what episode this is. 13. Episode 13. Deadline. Here we go. Bronson Pinchot. God, Lord, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. No, I cannot. It's serious. Scaring the little girl. Thinks that this is as much of the world as I need to see. Oh. I was obviously dreaming right away. He does look like Bronson Pinchot, though. This must have been what he was feeling in uh, True Romance before it all came crashing in on him. I did for you, you fucking whore! Who the fuck do you think you're Is it noon already? No, it's two o'clock. I'm sorry, Anne. It's just that when I start writing these... Well, I didn't realize what time it was. Well, who died? Anthony Lawrence. Hey, isn't he that really good-looking guy who sells cars at Springwood Motors? Right, and he's always driving a new car every week? Well, last night, he took his last free ride right off a cliff about 100 miles an hour. Can you imagine how he felt going off that cliff? Yeah. That's a horrible way to go. You're being crushed alive, ripped apart. What a way to go. Ugh. I want to go fast. Sleep. Put me to sleep. Or jump off a fucking roof and. Nobody's too young. Not in this town. Yeah, remember Freddy Krueger? I think he's dead by now. Krueger, Freddy. See, he's still around. This is just his file that's still around. What scares me is the way he just sort of disappeared. Watch this. All I have to do is push this one little button, and it's bye-bye Freddy Krueger. The guy is yesterday's news. Feel better? Yeah. See you later. This guy's a complete dork. She's fucking... I've seen her in Quantum Leap. If he ever found out I was helping you, oh, that'd be the end of little Terza Larea. So fast it would make your head spin. I think Scott Bakula elevated her in that episode because this whole episode is full of trash actors. Hello? Hello, it's Anderson. Come on, somebody pick up. It's 
Springwood stud. This guy's awful, terrible. How do you get cast? Jesus. They were just like, here, let's give it to this. It must be related to somebody. Look at the computers. <laughs> oh, brother. When I was like real young, we had computers like this. We played Oregon Trail on it. What's up, Doc? You'd figure that a girl who was smart enough to graduate at the top of her nursing class wouldn't be dumb enough to fool around and end up falling in love. <laughs> oh, he converts into these people in his dreams. Wouldn't let it go. Always squeezing it tighter and tighter. It sounds like they were having sex. Hey, hey, kid, are you okay? Yeah. Just a little touchy-touchy there, bro. Emily and Star. And why didn't you? Because my boyfriend calls me up at 3 o'clock in the morning and says he feels like he's gonna die. Oh, good. Somehow he managed to get a girl, and she's fucking cute. Wow, that's a great story. A real cliffhanger. What? Much better than anything you ever wrote for English class. She just fucking... You, bro. you think I made all that up? Why would I do that? Because you're a dreamer. You make up shit all the time. Remember you said you were hanging out with David Lee Roth? You're a fucking loser. That's why I'm with you. I love you. How dare you? This episode is what we call boring shit. Episode 13. I want to write about the world. I want to write about living, and I'm getting stuck writing about death. And it's haunting me. I can't stop dreaming about how these people died. And I'm them in my dreams. Please, I'm having nightmares. Please. Bronson Big Show, no, don't hurt Bronson. I love Bronson Pinchot. Perfect Strangers was okay. I knew him from Perfect Strangers, but I also knew him from fucking the Langoliers. Scaring the little girl! I used to love that movie for some fucking reason. I think it's only because Dean Stockwell's in it, and he was Al in Quantum Leap. So it's like, oh, it's the reason why I liked it. And it does have time travel in it. Different kind of time travel, but still. But your father has other plans for you, and so do I. I'm gonna start running your obituaries in a special box on the front page. Experience the fear and pain of death with none of the hassles, without ever having to leave the comfort of your own living room. Goodbye, Miss Brandis. Peter, you cannot quit. Please try and understand. This job is killing me. I don't think so. Why would they arrest him? Why would they arrest him? This is a dream. Yeah, we built this in here because your stories are so wonderful. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my God, you know who he sounds like? How dare you? <laughs> you can't keep me locked up in here forever. You can't keep me locked up in here forever. No, just till deadline. God, this is the set they built for this shit? 
What if he doesn't switch? What if he doesn't turn back to the guy he's in his dreams that he is? And it's really him. What do I do for the second half? Because this is garbage. You know what though, falling off of a roof or something isn't a good thing because you could become fucking paralyzed, you could survive. That's the worst thing you could do. that can happen, you could survive. And then they try to make, keep you alive even though what the fuck is the point? Kill me, let me die, shoot me. Falling asleep watching this piece of shit. This is pretty fucking bad, that's all I gotta say. Mm. What kind of dream is this? It's not a nightmare. The vampire? What the fuck is this? Oh no, I can't believe I actually said that. You know, I think I'm jealous. Of what? The way you still believe in all those love songs and happily ever after. You really loved Peter, didn't you? Yeah, I did. But after he died, it hurt so bad, I made up my mind never to love anybody like that again. Ever. And maybe that'll change when you find the right song. Like you do with Johnny? Johnny's make believe or some shit. Some old fucking man. This girl, that. This girl's cute. High school kids? Yeah, forget. They're fucking 30 years old. There's no fucking way I'm watching two today. You could have called. Yeah, I know. But I didn't think I needed to give you the itinerary for my whole life. For only one day. Well, I don't even know you, so you'd have to tell me your whole life. Jeez, I'm gonna have a heart attack in this fucking thing. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I've gotta get back because John is waiting. That's the bad part. Waiting for your friends to die. Sometimes it gets so lonely. And it gets locked! <laughs> you can't go back, Emily. Just like I can't go back. Crash and burn is forever. If you don't believe me, just ask Star. No! Oh shit, that's a real stunt. That's dangerous. 
Oh, then you like the oxygen out? That's very dangerous. I don't know if that's CG or she just turned to a 200 pound man. Oh my God, Johnny! I was supposed to die in that car crash that night, but I didn't! And now Star and Annie, they've come back to get me. No, Emily. I'm the one who's going to get you. No! What the? Nice, Freddy. Oh, if it wasn't for that little ID tag on your toe, I wouldn't even recognize my little friend Emily. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Is he a serial killer? Look even more beautiful than Annie and Star did at their funerals. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god! I'm so confused. This episode is terrible. I don't get, that was so stupid. That's the, that is the worst episode. That's the, that was trash. That was trash. What a waste of my fucking time. All right, different day, different episode. I took a day off. Oh, I didn't take a day off. <laughs> I watched this yesterday. Uh, let's watch this fucking thing. Let's see how good it is. This episode, the last one I rewatched. So I know what the second half of that episode was about. It was stupid too. <laughs> For the whole episode, it's just whack. The guy couldn't act in the beginning of it. The girl's story was like, what? Yeah, she's dead. I get it. Or, or she's just dreaming this because her friends died. That's what happened. Just dreaming because her friends died. It was lame. And who's the lover? It was the mortician? Like, what the fuck was that all about? Anyway, black tickets. Black tickets. Black tickets. Brad Pitt. As Rick. Carrie Brennan. Carrie Brennan. Never heard of her. <laughs> I bet you she... She shows her grandkids this shit. She's gotta be like 60 now. Let me show you something, sweetheart. Put it up. That's me and Brad Pitt. Oh my God, Grandma. I know. In the back of her head, she's thinking, I sucked his dick. <laughs> Old capital of the world, Springwood. Let's hope there's a phone booth up the road. This is what I get for buying a yacht mobile. I should have been able to fix this thing. I'm good with my hands. Oh, you're very good with your hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that attitude. That and a tow truck will get us out of this mess. Come on, why lope unless you're hot for a little adventure? <laughs> mm. Besides, when my parents and your old man figure out that we cut loose from college, got married, they're gonna send out some serious bloodhounds. Yes, but by then we'll be dining on seafood in San Francisco. <laughs> that is, if we survive Springwood. Look, you can even see he's a good actor from this. My daddy was making me mental. And your folks, Randy, your folks were always in your face. It's because they loved us. Because they didn't want us to grow up. They didn't think we were ready. Oh, There's a big difference. Get real, Miranda. I mean, my dad, he, he, he picked out my prep school. He picked out my college. He chose my clothes. He cho The guy chose my friends. 
Uh, even when we went fishing, it was always his rods, his hooks, his bait. Your dad's not that terrible. No, he's just an unsung hero trying to bring fascism back into vogue. Fascism. A lot of eighties is all targeted all about fascism, and now we have. That's why we're. we're that's why we're where we are now. But everyone's screaming, "You fascist! You fascist!" You fucking want to say whatever you want to say, whenever you want to say it, wherever, to whoever. You piece of shh. Why didn't we see it before? Who cares? We are saved. Rick, what's that noise? How fast that thing was going. You got a problem, young lady? We need a lift to Springwood. We have to get to a hospital. I got hit crossing the road. Holy. <laughs> He's standing. <laughs> it's a dream. It's a dream. It's a dream. They're the car dreaming. That's a guy makeup would. I don't think that's a real old man. If it is a old, real old man, he's the same guy that played Mark Twain in Star Trek The Next Generation. WRONG! I remember episode of Growing Pains where he was a musician, like a famous rock star guy, and Carol was able to get tickets for uh, Jason to take Ben to. But uh, Jason doesn't want Ben to know that his mom's the one that got the tickets. But Jason wants to go, like, impress Ben, you know? So they go to get this guy's t uh, autograph because, oh, no, I think I think Jason did get uh, tickets, but fucking Maggie from her work was able to get backstage to meet him. But anyway, <laughs> long story short, uh, he says, yeah, he'll sign it, no problem, and he acts real nice, and then the kid's out there at one point, and something happens, and... He shows he's like a real jerk. He's a real ass. And he like, Ben's like, ugh, I don't like this guy anymore. They said, oh, that's the moral of the story was, I think, well, Ben, you can still listen to the guy's music and not like him. I think it was that. You can still like his music and not like the guy. So You just got to separate it, blah, blah, blah. I think. This guy, rapid should be toast. <laughs> it should be gum. Todd, are you there? Land of the bizarre. Well, it's not so bad. Considering we look like poster children for the American Dirt Society. To the Route 66 Motor Lodge, where life is a little fishy. <laughs> so this is supposed to be a horror show, right? Sometimes it feels like it's a fucking comedy. <laughs> what is this guy doing? I thought the other guy was gonna. The guy in the yellow is going to be an over-actor. Look at this dude. This guy's over the top, bro. What is this? <laughs> He's like, look at this guy. I don't know, dude. I don't know what this guy's doing. Yeah, he wanted to laugh. I was like, bro, we did not rehearse it this way. <laughs> hey, there's some kind of snakes in our bed. Striped corals. They're friendly if you leave them alone. I don't mean to cause trouble here, but we're talking gross. Whoa! You're a grown-up. 
you got to learn to make your own bed. Piranha. Oh, yeah. Don't anybody use that jacuzzi. That's where I keep my piranha fish. Is that fucking oil or, bl or piranhas? I don't know. It looks like he fried his hand. Are you serious? Yeah. Our car broke down. We called a tow and they brought us here. And you ordered champagne. And we celebrated our elopement. You fucked me silly. Last night I did some thinking and I've had a change of heart. I want to go back home. You're kidding me, right? That wasn't the plan, okay? The plan was to run away. Now we got to go back? Oh, no, you're trying to tie me down for real? What do you mean, tie you down? We're married. Yeah, but our plan was to get married and go away. Look at that. Damn, bro. She looks older than she looks older than um I don't feel like diving off the deep end anymore. She looks older than him. Like a lot older than him. Find out how it could just be the makeup, but Rick! Come here quick! Miranda! Miranda! The lock's broken. It's way too hot in here. Help me. Hold on, baby. I'm going for help. I'm frying in here. Hurry. Help me. Somebody. Please hurry. Help me. Uh. Help me. Don't. Drop the weapon, tuna breath. Great, you can help me. Come on, son. Door's broke. I said drop it. Help me. Or do you feel lucky today? What the hell are they doing? Why are they arresting him for? Why are they arresting you? Miranda! Oh, you got out. You're okay. I fixed the lock. What happened to you? I'm in real trouble, Miranda. I killed two cops. <laughs> you didn't kill two <laughs> they never processed you there's no cameras back then what the hell calm down bro you can't run from this I can run from anything <laughs> I can run from anything you gotta give yourself up and explain what happened <laughs> Too. Well, I'm going to stop. Let me out. You love me. Sure, I love you. But running is a cop out. It's a cheat. It's a lie. I want to stand my ground. I want to face my fears. Let me out. No. I'm not going to jail. <laughs> That's what he really means. Now I'm going to have to. Oh my god, oh, so he, maybe he's in the hospital. Maybe he did run over himself. It was him. He ran over himself. So there are ghosts? Why mm, wouldn't that be? That'd be pretty interesting. I wonder if he was on 21 Jump Street. All right, you have a party. From what I hear, not a great party, a party of one. But he doesn't invite his buddies? 
this hurts. Flake off, Isley. This isn't that bad. That bad. This with Brad Pitt acting in it. This episode. This half. Because we think we have another fucking half to go. This half wasn't that bad. Hopefully he's in the other half. Mr. Shore's ready to see you. I'm nuts about this job. I never thought I'd find such a hot place to work in Springwood. Disgusting! Oh God, in the light, oof. Damn, poor Brad. He's the one who wanted to settle down here. Brad. No more running, we're gonna put down roots. Smart move, Miranda. You got a future here at Springwood Records. You're talented, you're intelligent. You put five years into this company and you are gonna be racing in the fast track. Her womb is so polluted. It's just that I'm a little late this month, you know? You're not trying to get pregnant, are you? Oh, I'd like to have babies someday, like in the year 3006. Good. Because motherhood and your job are definitely incompatible. I know a lot of women that wish they had kids. I regret not having kids. I know a few that don't, so. So it depends on the person. It all depends on the individual and how they feel. Oh shit, oh shit. Surprise! She's gonna have a big party when she comes out negative. She's like, good times. Come on, I'm not pregnant. Oh my God, that's how they used to have to do it? Jeez Louise, look at that test. That shit's ancient. That's even... <laughs> no, it's not even before me, but that shit's old as hell. Damn, somebody should take this beat. This is a hot beat. We heard you couldn't sleep, little girl. So we thought we'd sing you a lullaby. Hit it, gang. Now they're gonna have sex. <laughs> Let's celebrate by having sex. You better wear a condom. What the hell? Holy shit! Oh, that's fucked. She's fucked. So, what are you telling me, doctor? That it's not the hit on the head, that she's gone crazy? What? I'm not so sure. Right now, I think she may be a child for the rest of her life. My God, what kind of sick shit is this?
fucking weird. Yeah, it's cuckoo. Now, how do you know she's that, that was going to be the outcome of it? All of a sudden, she's a baby now. What kind of shit is that? All right, those are episode 13 and 14 of Freddy's Nightmares, Deadline, and Black Tickets. What are my thoughts on those two episodes? Well, they both sucked ass. The one with Brad Pitt was only good because you're getting to see Brad Pitt in it, a young Brad Pitt. He's a decent actor, like the best actor they've had on the show besides Mariska Haggerty. And maybe the tank girl, she wasn't that terrible, just her voice is annoying. There's some decent actors in these episodes, but that kid, uh, Bronson Pinchot, was horrible. That whole episode was horrible. Also, the girl, Emily, in that episode, the second half, that was pretty fucking boring about her two best friends who died in a car crash, and they're haunting her in her dreams and telling her that they wish that she would kill herself with them and that her boyfriend's also torturing her in her dreams. I know I fell asleep for that. I left the clips of them, of me falling asleep in there so you can see me fall asleep in there and laugh at me. Anyway, that girl was in Creep Show 2. She was in the segment The Raft. She's the one that she's the first one that dies by the uh, the monster in the, in the water. So that was fun. I was like, I just recently watched it for a commentary and I was like, holy shit, that's the girl I just saw. So that was hilarious. Um... Again, the only good thing about that this entire two episodes was seeing Brad Pitt, the Brad Pitt episode. If it wasn't Brad Pitt, maybe it was someone else, uh, I would just think it's a decent episode. It was okay. It wasn't terrible. That, that episode wasn't really that bad. The, sec- the Black Tickets wasn't that bad. The uh, Deadlines was horrible, horrendous, terrible episode. So, um, yeah, that's that. If you saw these two episodes, let me know what you thought about them in the comment section down below. If you're new here, remember to hit the like button if you like the video. And um, subscribe, too. That helps me. (laughs) Anyway, uh, I will talk to you guys next time when I do episodes 15 and 16 of Freddy's Nightmares. I plan to finish season one. Don't know if I'm going to do season two, okay? Talk to you guys next time. Peace.